we're back. Desmond called Ghost Patrol, the haunted house next door. Okay, so we are back with this book. I have my supplies ready to go. I've got my spiral and I have my Desmond Cole and my pencil ready to go. And remember your spiral may not be yellow. Yours could be a different color, but you know it's a spiral because of this fun, you hear that? This fun metal spiral here. Okay, so I am going to turn to where we left off last time. Yup. Okay, oh, and I looked at Miho. That means my son. So me means my in Spanish, and Iho means son. So when his mom said that, she was calling him her son. Makes sense, right? I think so. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side. I just had to make sure that I talked about that. Okay. We are on chapter two, normal, boring, happy. Remember to follow along with your finger with me. If you're not reading aloud, you're at least following along to get that good brain exercise. Hearing those words, it's really important. My son doesn't know the words that I'm reading to him in his stories, but it's so good for his brain to be hearing all of these vocabulary words and everything. So I read to my son all the time. Mom and dad were busy with the movers. So I decided to check out the new house. After meeting Desmond, I needed time to get my heartbeat back to its normal speed. Even though there were boxes everywhere and the furniture wasn't where it was supposed to be, the house was normal, normal and boring. A normal, boring front door and a normal, boring den. Den is like a place where you have an office or a library. A normal, boring kitchen and a normal, boring dining room. There were four normal, boring bedrooms and two normal, boring bathrooms. It was a big house. The front yard and the garage were, well, you get it. The thing is, I like normal boring. I understand normal boring. Maybe that's because I'm normal boring too. So here we have, here's him. There's a little diagram and it's pointing things out. Normal boring hair, normal boring mouth, normal boring shoes, normal boring jeans, normal boring shirt. The only thing that wasn't normal boring about this house was the basement. The stairs creaked as I walked down. It was almost completely dark except for a little light that came in from a small window. There were shadows everywhere. Now we're on page 21. There were also pipes that made clanging noises and I jumped every single time they clanked. Sometimes the, the basement or like a dark garage can be scary in your house. I ran back upstairs. Sure, most basements were creepy, but I didn't want to take any chances. I like the normal boring parts of the house. Thank you very much. Mom was in the den. Did you get along with the boy next door? She asked me. Wouldn't it be great if you found a best friend on your first day here? Ma, nobody becomes best friends in two minutes. That would be a world record. I just want you to be happy here in Curseville, she said. I'm happy, I told her. And yeah, Desmond is pretty cool. She smiled. Good. <clears throat> page 24 now. Make sure you're on the right page with us. I didn't want mom to worry about me. But the truth is, I wasn't sure Desmond Cole would make a good best friend. Something about him seemed... Range. I went upstairs to my new room and started unpacking. I wanted my room to look the way it did in my last house and the house before that. Normal, boring. 
Maybe Curseville would be as normal boring as my room, but something told me I wouldn't be so lucky. I like all of his space stuff. Lots of cool space stuff. Oh, chapter three, whatevs. All right, we're going to bookmark chapter three. That's it. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to have to wait till next time. If you read ahead, don't tell us what's happening. Okay, so today we need more space than this. So I'm just going to put an arrow that tells me go to the next page. I'm not going to worry about using the back. You can if you want to. And I'm going to put the date. It is 10-16. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday! And I'm going to write Desmond Cole so I know which book this came from. Desmond Cole, Ghost Patrol, The Haunted House Next Door. All right, today we're going to do a diagram. And this is a really helpful thing that they put in nonfiction text, but we've discovered they also put it in some fiction text as well. Remember when he labeled himself? Well, what I want you to do today is I want you to do a little sketch of yourself and label things about yourself. So I'll show you. Um, I'm going to make my head here. And I'm going to make, I'm going to kind of be a stick person. I hope that's okay. And I kind of have my sweater rolled up a little bit, but I do like my nice, big, baggy sweaters make me feel cozy but they're rolled up to my sleeves so here are my hands and they open right here so here's my big sweater and they usually have buttons on one side and little holes on the other and then I have a little dress underneath and that comes to right about here and then it kind of flips out like this and it's not stripes, it's polka dots, but I'm going to do stripes just so you can see the difference because I do have a striped dress. And then got my little feet, see, I'm a little stick person. <laughs> and I'm going to make my face, and here's my nose and my little eyes. And I have long hair that I do like to wear down, but a lot of times it drives me crazy, so I end up putting it up in a bun, but I'll put it down on my picture. I wish I wore it down more. And it goes all the way down here. I got long hair. I haven't been to, the hair places had been closed for a while, so I haven't been. So my hair is pretty long. All right, so there's my hair. Fill it in a little bit more. Okay. There I am. So now I can label myself and I can say this is long, brownish, reddish. I think reddish has two Ds. Reddish, but I'm not totally sure. Hair. And then I do have a few freckles. I'm going to do freckles. See, I'm just labeling myself. Um, arms, this is my arm, it has freckles, it has freckles, dress, and I'm going to say I like to wear dresses. So you're just going to go ahead and you're going to label yourself and this is my this is my bad knee. When I was younger in sixth grade, I played soccer and I had gone camping and I stepped in a hole and in, your knee is supposed to bend forward and I hyperextended it. And that means it goes the other way. So my knee went backwards, but it was fine. I didn't need any cast or anything. It just was really sore and it hurt and I couldn't play soccer for a while. It stunk. And now sometimes when I move around or I walk, I can sort of feel it kind of wanting to hyperextend again. And so I have to like stretch it forward a little bit and like, oh, I can't do that move right now. Yeah. Injuries. So I'm going to keep working on labeling myself. Maybe this will be, this will be my nose. I like my nose. And my eyes, I think they're, I think they're blue green. Sometimes they look blue and sometimes they look green. I don't know. 
um, blue green eye. So you're just going to go ahead and have fun labeling yourself. Okay, you guys. That's what you're going to do today. You're doing a diagram. This is how you write the word diagram, by the way, if you wanted to write it. Diagram. That's what you're doing today. All right. Have fun. You can turn this off and you can sit and just have fun. You can add color if you want. I'm okay with that. Bye, guys. See you next time for Desmond Cole Ghost Patrol.